Oh, hello. Why, yes, this is the spot where we're talking about Crash Course in Romance, episode four. my channel hopefully you have been watching this uh season season been watching crest cruise and romance with me um and we are up to episode four that is right this is a quarter way through the season there's 16 total episodes so some stuff is starting to happen if you have not yet watched the episode and do not want it to be spoiled please go watch the episode and come back because I'm going to be discussing everything that happened in the episode and my theories about what's coming up. So, spoiler alert. So, episode four, Revolt of the Arithmetic Sequence. So, let's start off our episode. Uh, the moms of all the students, the seven students that were chosen to be in the all care program, all of the moms are meeting to basically just like, hey, where all the moms meet each other and talk about what's going on with kids and that kind of stuff. Sue's mom is the leader. So she brings everyone over um, and everyone's there, including uh, Hong Seon and Miss Jang. Obviously, Sunjay is also in, right? So we have Heya, Sunjay, and Sua are all in along with four other kids. So Miss Jang is obviously invited to this get together of the moms but she's late and she does join them. But when she does, there's like palpable tension and not even like, oh, the tension is up. No, they literally have like a yelling, screaming match. Well, so his mom's kind of mad and Miss Jing is kind of just like, I wouldn't say condescending, but she had her moments for sure. Um, so there's a rift, obviously. They do not like each other. So the students get their tests back and Heya is level one. Woo woo! Insert. Yay! Um, which is awesome. It's just showing that uh, the studying at Pride Academy is paying off. So yay. Sua gets her test back or test scores and she is level two. Uh oh. Big problems. So she's super upset, crying in her bed. Her mom's trying to comfort her. Um, and she basically blames Heya. And says that it's all her fault and she got this test test question changed so that two answers were acceptable so that pushed Sua into level two so she's super mad which leads to the biggest thing so I know in last episode we had talked about there was this mystery woman in the car and her son was kind of a jerk face and she was like don't worry about it I'll get you in so she meets with Sua's mom and she actually didn't just try to like kick someone out and get him in at first. She basically just says, hey, can my kids study with your kids that are in that program? Sua's mom is meeting with the mystery lady um, instead of just saying, yeah, you can study with our kids or maybe she basically says, well, I may have something better for you. And she essentially wants to get Heya kicked out of the program altogether. Sua's mom now needs Miss Jang who they just had this big blow up fight. She now needs her um, because they're gonna try to talk to the Pride Academy and say, we want her kicked out because of this. Initially, Miss Jang is like, I'm not helping you with anything. I mean, they just had this big fight, right? So she's like, I'm not helping you. And then she happens to see Sonjay and Heya and she realizes how much Sonjay cares about Heya and <clears throat> She thinks it'll be a hindrance to his studying, so she agrees to go along with the plan to get Heya kicked out. She does get kicked out. Poor Heya is no longer in the all care program. And she is replaced by Young Min. So he is the jerk face kid. 
and we'll talk about that more here in just a second. The reasoning they give for kicking uh, Paya out is they said that she didn't take any of the other teachers' classes. So it's not just Sheol's class that is in the all care program, it's comprehensive as far as like English, math, and other classes. So there's more star teachers, so they're basically saying she had to have taken classes from the other star teachers, which was not part of the requirement when they gave the test. So obviously we the viewers behind the scenes know that the moms orchestrated this, but from everyone else's perspective, it, they're just saying, oh, it was an unspoken rule, that kind of thing. Chiol finds out about it and he is not happy and he goes to the director and basically says, why did you do this? And he tells him that he basically did it for his own reasons, but he won't tell him why. So Chiol basically says, well, then I'm going to quit and I'm not going to do the program. So he was standing up for her, which was great. Um, but then the other students come to him and basically say, are you really going to leave us? So I think he feels guilt of like, I'm standing up for one student, but then I'm leaving all these other students feelings out of it. So he does decide to go ahead with doing the program. When Hong Soon finds out about Heya being kicked out, she's livid, obviously, and she Hey, is acting like it's no big deal and like, you know, oh, it was going to be intimidating anyway and puts on a good face for her, but she breaks down in her room crying, which is super sad. <clears throat> and Hong Soon basically knows like it really hurt her. So the next day, Hong Soon goes to Pride Academy and basically wants to talk to the director and like, help me understand what happened. Um, they all basically are ignoring her, pushing her out, won't give her answers. So it basically turns into because he's standing outside, essentially like trying to get them to meet with her. They even call the cops because she's just standing there and they say it's obstruction of business. So Haya ends up getting blacklisted from Pride Academy. So she won't be able to take any more classes. So after, uh, Hong Song son has basically done everything she can she's upset but it's basically like they're all resigned that there's nothing they can do right so the only thing she can do and what she feels like is she basically says that anybody that is associated with pride Ac academy cannot eat at nation's best function which obviously that is like where she all eats right so there's a whole montage of like basically him not eating there anymore and he's trying to eat other food but it's still making him sick so then he starts being in his foul mood and he's lightheaded and not feeling well so no food for you is what she says <laughs> one other um important thing to talk about before we get to our mysteries our little love triangle here right with Heya, sunjay and gunhu so he's the hockey player guy um, so in this episode, we get a little bit further with that uh, hockey player guy, Gyeon Hu. He's late to class, and the teacher basically says, look, I know that you hurt your shoulder, and you may not be able to play hockey anymore, and that was kind of your career path and what you wanted to do, but you still have to be on time to class like everybody else, so go home and think about it if that's what you want to do. So he gets in trouble. There's a little moment where he's helping Haya out when Sua in gym class throws a ball and hits her in the nose and her nose is bleeding. So there's a little moment there. And then um, he also asks, so he, when he comes back to class, he goes straight up to Haya and says, hey, can you teach me how to study? So yeah, we're getting some appropriate sparks flying here, but poor Sanjay. <laughs> He's just the boy next door that she's not recognizing. Classic, right? With the whole situation with the no food for you, big rift between Chiel and Hong Soon. Let's get into our mysteries. So I've left the same ones up here from last time and let's talk about where we are with them. The pellets, they make a return this episode. We still don't know who's shooting them, but 
uh, so Young Min, who we talked about, took Hea's place, right? So he was a jerk face. He's disrespectful. So he got into all care and they started classes and he was super disrespectful to Chiel. And basically Chiel kicked him out of class. So he's upset talking about that he doesn't like him and that he's going to tell his mom and his mom gets things done. And so not good. But in the restaurant slash gas station, wherever they're eating, um, our hooded figure, I think there probably are two hooded figures, but maybe not. Maybe it's just the one guy. So I haven't mentioned this yet because it hasn't really been a huge, huge point, but it's been this little small mystery. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about it now. Miss Jane had put the money in the cabinet on the dishes and a hooded figure took it right in a baseball hat hooded figure. There was this moment where her husband, I assume it's her husband, they were in the elevator and talking about Quijay, which I assume that that is maybe the older brother of Sunjay, Miss Jane's son, but we haven't gotten into what happened with him. There was just a little moment of basically the husband saying, don't push Sunjay like you did Quijay and look at how he ended up. So is he the hooded figure? He was in the restaurant when young men was talking about all of this and but what we do know is so young men leaves and he's in kind of like a back alley gonna smoke a cigarette and pellets start flying at him dun, dun, dun. uh and he runs away from it to the roof because that's a good idea when someone's chasing him <laughs> but he gets pushed off the roof so young men is gone um, in a very dramatic way. Like Pellet Man made his comeback and it was strong. So what will happen there? Don't know. We do know it was a hooded figure, but they didn't show the face, obviously. That's why I think there's two. Cause I think they're trying to lead us to think that it was Huijay, but I, I bet it's not. I forgot to mention this last time, but the girl from Shields past, that probably somehow plays in, didn't play a lot into this episode but I want to keep that up there on the board for our mysteries. The episode ends with Chiel basically making a truce saying, I need to eat and I feel really guilty about the fact that I didn't do more for Heya when I think that it's an injustice. A psychologist told him this too. He basically goes, just goes into Nation's Best and tells Hong Sung, Hey, she can keep having classes. And she's like, oh, Pride Academy is going to let her back in. And he said, no, he's going to teach her privately. So yay, set up for more time um, between them where I'm sure love will blossom, right? But he basically said he has one condition and it cuts off. We assume that that means he'll get to eat, right? But we'll find out next episode. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going through the episode with me. If you think I got anything wrong, if you think I got anything right, if I left something out, if you think my theories are crazy or good, let me know in the comments. Thanks guys. Hope you have a good week.